90 degrees. I think it's 78 to be exact. We uh, been hunting all week, a couple of different properties. Seen some bucks, um, nothing, nothing big. Um, so this is pretty much my last day. Uh, I'm gonna meet up with Sean tomorrow. We're gonna hunt together and maybe hunt Sunday. We'll see how it goes. Um, but we came in here, we did a scent trail with antler ice. It's about 300 yards. We just drug it in, drug a uh, ghost wick in, and we hung two of them down below us. Um, we hunted this morning. <clears throat> seen uh, seen a buck, a small one. He was kind of he was on the move, looking looking around. So uh, we 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 left, came back. It's about 2:30. So we're gonna sit here this evening and uh, pray something uh, decent comes in and presents a shot. So uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, baby. 15 yards, seen that deer? He's down. Whew, that was the weirdest thing that I've ever seen happen. It's a small buck. I'm gonna eat the tag on that because he had something wrapped around his face and his antlers. I couldn't really tell what it was, but I could tell that it was, it was on there pretty good and it was bothering him. It looked like it was weighing his head down a little bit and he was, he was struggling. I mean, he was eating fine, but he was definitely struggling, struggling, didn't like it. I don't know what it was, it looked like barbed wire. <sighs> looked like it was a good shot. Pretty sure I seen him go down maybe 50, 60 yards. Pretty confident. But like I say, I wanted, I wanted to take him because I'm not sure what was on his antlers. I just, I couldn't tell, and I wasn't sure if he would ever, if it would come off by itself. So I'll, I'll eat the tag on that. I'll fill the freezer, and uh, it's, it's a good. Uh, I think I did good by taking, by taking that deer. Small one shake me up too. All right guys, we uh, just recovered the deer. As you could see in the video, he had um, something around his face. Well, here it is. He's completely tangled in this rope. Looks like some netting and then some thicker rope up here. 
his complete front of his face is tied up. There's actually some in his mouth right there also. So <clears throat> I uh, believe I did the right thing by taking this deer. Uh, it sucks that uh, I couldn't let him go and you know in a few years he might be bigger. But I, like I said, I feel like I did the right thing. He could have choked on this and uh, you know could have prevented himself from uh, eating, which you see in the video, he didn't have any problem eating now, but you never know. So I don't mind uh, using a buck tag to, uh, to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and get the outdoor edge knife out, get this deer cleaned up, and get him out of here. It's hot, and then uh, off to meet Sean tomorrow for another hunt. So stay tuned, guys.